Control Your Emotions with 7 Stoic Lessons Marcus Aurelius once shared a powerful insight, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In a world where emotions can sometimes feel like turbulent waves, how do we find our anchor? Join us as we explore 7 Stoic lessons that hold the key to mastering your emotions and navigating life storms with unwavering resolve. Lesson number 1, Understand What's in Your Control Have you ever found yourself caught in life storms? The Stoics, philosophers from ancient Greece and Rome, offer us a lesson that feels like an anchor in these moments, the dichotomy of control. Picture this, you're planning an outdoor event, but despite all your preparations, it rains. You can't control the weather, but your reaction to it is entirely up to you. You could lament, get frustrated, or adapt. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, put it succinctly, some things are in our control, and others are not. But how do we put this into practice? Start by asking yourself, is this something I have control over? If the answer is yes, take action. If the answer is no, it's an opportunity to practice acceptance and adaptability. By truly understanding and internalizing this principle, we can free ourselves from unnecessary anguish and navigate life with a sense of calm, knowing that while we can't control the winds, we can adjust our sails. Lesson number two, reflect before reacting. In today's fast-paced world, the art of reflection can seem like a relic of the past. But it's this very act of pausing and pondering that can be our saving grace in a world that demands rapid responses. Consider the countless times we're faced with decisions, big and small. Instead of diving headfirst into an emotional whirlpool, allow yourself a moment of detachment. Reflect on why a certain comment affected you deeply or what underlying beliefs are influencing your emotions. Reflection before reaction fosters empathy, helps us understand ourselves and others better, and promotes thoughtful, measured responses. Lesson number three, practice dispassion. In a world filled with emotional highs and lows, practicing dispassion might seem out of place. But it's about cultivating a balanced perspective, observing events and emotions without being overwhelmed by them. Similar to watching a movie, deeply engaged but aware that it's just a story, practicing dispassion allows us to engage with life more sustainably and navigate conflicts with understanding and grace. Lesson number four, ask yourself, will this matter in five years? In the heat of the moment, it's easy to get swept up in our feelings. But one powerful question can shift our perspective, will this matter in five years? Most of the things we fret about today will be forgotten footnotes in the grand narrative of our lives. This question encourages us to prioritize our concerns, fosters resilience, and helps us focus on what truly matters. Lesson number five, keep a stoic journal. The act of journaling isn't just a record of events, it's a tool for introspection, growth, and clarity. A stoic journal is a space for reflection, where events are weighed against personal values and beliefs. By dissecting our days, we understand our patterns, recognize emotional triggers, and hold ourselves accountable for our reactions and decisions. Lesson number six, see obstacles as opportunities. Challenges are inevitable, but how we interpret and respond to them is within our control. Viewing obstacles as opportunities for growth transforms setbacks into valuable lessons and fosters resilience. By nurturing a positive perspective, patience, and perseverance, we can transform obstacles into stepping stones toward growth and fulfillment. Lesson number seven, practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful practice that anchors us in the present, fosters contentment, and strengthens relationships. By acknowledging life's blessings, we shift our focus from what's lacking to what we have, cultivating a heart full of thanks. As the sun sets on another day, let's harness these stoic lessons to shape our tomorrow. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, and let's continue this journey of self-discovery together. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, stay curious, stay grounded, and never stop seeking wisdom. If you like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching.